So I decided to attempt the prompts for the week, which are stripes, nature, and eyes. And I have chosen uh, these gorillas to kind of bounce off of uh, for my idea. I found these eyes in another magazine and I thought it was kind of cute. So I think I'm going to definitely work with these two critters and I just have to find eyes for the little guy. So I've got a sharper image catalog and there's faces in here. So I'm gonna kind of look through and see if something catches my eye. And, hmm, I kind of like her face. Now the direction of the eyes might make a difference, but we're gonna give it a try. Okay, I think it's cute. Oh, I'm pretty excited. Now I need to find a background for my gorillas. So I'm gonna go back to this nature catalog and just see if I can find something that would be big enough for the page in the book that I'm doing this in. So I found something that I like and I apologize because I know this is getting cut off in the recording. Um, but these gorillas kind of look like they're looking out from a high point. So I like this page and this is what I'm gonna use. And the book that I'm using is actually a True Red Explore um, journal. And I got these at a good discounted price at Staples a while back, um, just in case somebody is wondering. And um, it's an eight by eight book, so I like the shape too. So this page is definitely wide enough for my book, but it is not going to be tall enough. So I'm going to just tear I'm gonna try and just work around the words that are on this page. So I think the placement of the gorillas on what I have of the scenery is really gonna work out nicely. I think this is gonna be cute. Now I have this um, blue striped scrapbook paper and I think that I am just going to use that to represent the stripes in one of my prompts. And I think that it will, um, I think it will fill in nicely for uh, the top of my collage picture. Now I think what I wanna do is kinda of outline my sections just to sort of have them stand out a little bit. Um, I think it will work. I think it will look good. If not, no big deal. It's about creating, it's about having fun, it's about being spontaneous it's about not thinking too too much and stressing out it's supposed to be relaxing and uh, yeah just have fun do what feels right and if it turns out good you've learned something that you can carry on into another project and if it didn't you can uh, pretty much say that you know what you can do and what you can't do but 
really just have fun. So I found this bird and I kind of thought that I could use it in my picture. So I'm going to cut it out and see if I am right about it working. Okay, so I am going to place it. And yeah, I think it's going to work nicely, but I need a face because it's an animal. So I, I'm gonna see if this face will work. It is a tiny face, but it is a tiny bird. So let's just see what happens. Okay, it is too cute. That is too funny. That's a keeper. So I found this orangutan sitting in a tree and I couldn't resist. So I'm gonna find a place for him on my page. And again, I need to find a face. And I think this guy is going to work quite nicely. So I'm going to cut him out and see how it goes. I love how this turned out. And honest to goodness, when you first start, it can be a little overwhelming, but once you get started and into it, it really starts to come together. And gosh, it's so rewarding. And um, I never come away regretting that I uh, attempted it. So I'm just gonna outline these like I did the others and um, almost done. Now, I really don't like this um, edge being so raw, so I'm going to go over it with a little uh, chipped sapphire distress ink and just kind of, um, I don't know, just put some color on there just to make it not look so um, blah. And uh, actually kind of thinking that maybe um, um, maybe I'll just buffer some of the color all over and just really kind of soften up the brightness of those uh, of those stripes and I like how this looks and I'm going to finish my project off by writing a quote on the top and just kind of tying it all together. An animal's eyes have the power to speak a great language. I think I've captured that in today's project. And I hope you are taking those weekly prompts and getting creative because you just never know what you'll come up with and just how satisfying the experience can be. So come on, get creating and have fun.